law of natural growth or decay. The rate of change of amount of substance is proportional to the amount of substance at that time. The rate of change of amount of substance is proportional to amount of the substance at that time. Means the rate of change of amount of substance means amount of substance is x. The rate of change of amount of substance is dx by dt. That is proportional to amount of substance. So amount of substance means that is x. So the rate of change of amount of substance is proportional to amount of substance at that time. So this is mathematical explanation of law of natural growth or decay. dx by dt is proportional to x. So for law of natural growth, growth means increasing. Increase means proportional means here is a positive value. Here we indicate a positive value dx by dt equal to kx. For decay, dx by dt equal to minus k. Decreasing means derivative is always negative. So dx by dt equal to minus k into x. So for growth, increasing. For increasing, derivative is always positive. For decay means decreasing. Means dx by dt derivative is always negative for decreasing. This is for growth. This is for decay. The number of n bacteria in a culture group at a rate proportional to n. The value of n was initially 100 and increased to 332 in 1 hour. What was the value of n after 1 and a half hour? So the number of n bacteria in a culture group at a rate proportional to n. Means here amount of substance is n. Here amount of substance is n. So the rate of change of n is proportional to n. So this is for Growth, law of natural growth means the value the value of n was initially 100 and increased to 332 means this is the growth. So for a growth dn by dt. For law of natural growth. For law of natural growth dn by dt equal to kn dn by dt equal to kn. This is variable separable differential equation. This is variable separable differential equation. Separating the variables. Separating the variables means 1 by n into dn equal to k into dt. Here k is constant. 1 by n into dn equal to k into dt. Separating n terms and constants. Next, integrating on both sides. Integrating on both sides. Means integrating 1 by n, dn equal to integrating k into dt. Integration of 1 by n is log n. k dt means kt plus c. This is equation number 1. This is law of growth. Equation of law of natural growth. Log n equal to kt plus c. So n is amount of substance, t is 10, k and c are constant. So now first initial condition, we know that initial time is always 0. So when t equal to 0, when t equal to 0, so the original value is, initial value is 100. So n equal to 100. Substitute in the 1, log 100 equal to k into 0 plus c. 0 into k 0, log 100 equal to c. So, substituting the equation 1, we get log n equal to kt plus so c minus log 100. This is equation number 2. Next condition, after 1 hour, after 1 hour, n was initially increased to from 100 to 332. So, 1 hour means, here hours transformed to in minutes. So, 1 hour means 60 minutes. 1 hour means 60 minutes. So n equal to 332. Substitute in the equation 2. Log 332 equal to k into 60 plus log 100. Find the value k. k into 60 equal to log 332 minus log 100. 
सो लागे मैंने स्लाग भी लागे भाई भी लाग थ्री थर्टी टू बाई हंड्रेड के इक्वल टू वन बाई सिक्सटी इंटू लाग थ्री थर्टी टू बाई हंड्रेड के इक्वल टू वन बाई सिक्सटी इंटू लाग थ्री थर्टी टू बाई हंड्रेड सब्सिट इन इक्वेशन टू लाग एन इक्वल टू के प्लस What is the value of k? 1 by 60 into log 332 by 100 into t plus log 100. This is equation number 3. Now, what is the question? In 1 hour, n increased from 100 to 332. He is asking what was the value of n after 1 and a half hour. Means, after 90 minutes, when t equal to 90, he asking what is n? What is n? So, substitute equal to 90, we have to find the value of n. Log n equal to, what is the value of t? 90, what is the value of k? 1 by 60 into log 332 by 100 plus log 100. So, 0, 0 cancel. 2, 3. 3 2 is 3 3 is 3 by 2. So log n equal to 3 by 2 into log 332 by 100 plus log 100. So log n equal to log 332 by 100 whole power 3 by 2 plus log 100. Log a plus log b. Log a into b log 332 by 100 whole power 3 by 2 into 100. Removing log on both sides, we get n equal to 332 by 100 whole power 3 by 2 into 100. This is the value of n. So, after one and a half hour, after 90 minutes, n was increased to 332 by 100 over power 3 by 2 into 100. This is the value of n.